hello welcome back this is the kingdom gamer we start in a brand new chapter chapter four um last chapter we went we finally finished chapter three nails got his forest back and now we can actually start building with our kingdom so with that said let's get on to it and let's see what we're about to pull off That starts off the outlook of our kingdom. If I'm not mistaken, that is the name of our kingdom, and it's called Evermore. So that's awesome. So now we got our kingdom. It's time to start building. I'm finally sitting at my throne, even though it does need some decorating, but we'll get to that later. Um, one of the mechanics I know everybody was talking about was how you get to actually build your kingdom. So we're about to go ahead and get through that. Um, oof, this part starting off with a lot of talking. Let's see. So right now we're just talking about how we need some citizens. The only citizens, like I said in a couple of chapters before, the only citizens we really have at the moment is just the Sky Pirates. So we're gonna have to do something about that. We got the Sky Pirates, we got Ronin. And um, Nell said he's gonna join our, our group as well so anything else we just need some more citizens to help flourish our kingdom it looks like somebody's supposed to, okay one how I don't recall having anybody in my throne room while we're talking business and yet this guy that's not even in our kingdom is posting stuff maybe he's one of the sky pirates but i'm pretty sure he wasn't in there but i digress so to customize your kingdom you have to sit on the throne and right now we got this tutorial going on all right so basically we sit on our throne we give out orders to help advance our kingdom and the stuff that we can do also can make our adventure easier in the long run okay we need to build places assign citizens to run them okay why are we assigning citizens to run them like shouldn't they come to us and be like hey I'm good at this I want to build X Y and Z and then we give the okay and then they go run it but I guess not um, let's see, so different buildings, we got this shops, item, the shops, they can make unique items, outfits, ooh, okay, so now we can buy some new outfits, I'm game for that, let's see, there's clothing, armor, and other stuff, alright, so, we have our own special currency, which is nice. King's Gilders. That is 
a mouthful. Okay, KG for short. All right, so this special currency is what we're using in my kingdom. Well, in our kingdom, so we can build stuff and advance our technology. Okay, so we can upgrade our buildings as well and they can do different type of research that's cool all right so now we gotta go get some money okay all right so right now we already have 2500 kg available for us I guess it was just sitting around or something I'm not for sure all right so at the moment we don't have any stores or anything but yet we just got some money out of nowhere that's fine all right, so it seems like we will get money as time goes on, which is fine. Let's see, they'll be surprised how quickly stuff can build up. Once kingdom starts growing, check. Okay, so basically check back regularly because once we got people working, it's going to like always generate revenue for our kingdom which is fine obvious but fine um, let's see there's extra money by solving day-to-day -day problems okay so let's see you can see how much kg you're collecting and make menu so you don't have to worry about okay that's fine that that's actually awesome so so far we can We'll have people work in certain businesses. We'll collect money for our kingdom that way. And then on top of that, the people that's in the kingdom, I'm guessing they're going to give us side quests. And by doing those, we're also going to get money for the kingdom. Okay, so now it's just time to start building certain building buildings I guess let's see you gotta manage them go to the main menu I do like the fact that um we can look at how much money we have for our kingdom by the main menu my thing is that how much how useful is that going to be like shit and the only people that have that type of money is the people in our own kingdom so but I digress. Benefits by opening new ventures quest. Okay. Don't forget you can also improve the effects of existing by upgrading them. Makes sense. Ooh, so we can upgrade the castle as well. Hopefully fast to upgrade the castle. Awesome. As doing so benefit the entire kingdom and its borders. Okay. So we can upgrade the kingdom. We can upgrade each building and we can also upgrade the kingdom as a whole. But that just looked like it just upgrades the castle. The castle looks better, got better walls around it. Um, quite a few. Try upping the influence with a few basic facts that first improve your capability. First thing you'll need to do is manage your kingdom to build buildings, each of, okay, so, so every time we upgrade the castle, that upgrades the amount of money we can hold in total, which is fine. I'm like, we don't have that many citizens. Okay, so I'm guessing, all right, so each building have their own designated space. I was kind of disappointed about that. I was hoping that we can like pick whatever building we want, wherever, like maybe I want my magic guild 
Yeah, maybe I want my magic guild, well not guild, but magic building closer to the castle. Or maybe I want my armor building like farther away. But we got a, our Higgity building right here. So I'm guessing once we build this and upgrade it, we can um, increase, we can level up our Higgities, which would be awesome, finally. But I guess we'll have to find someone to work it as well. Alright, so the, it, building stuff increase our influence. At the, right there at the bottom, we have one, two. We have four different symbols. One is two swords. One is two swords. You got a hammer. You got the symbol for Higgity's and... I'm going to guesstimate that that last one is a spell. It's part of the spell word, so. So I'm guessing these are going to be the four main factions that we can build. I know these are the first four buildings. Maybe that's just the first four buildings. But at the moment, they are at level D. So now we just need to put workers inside of them so they can do research. I wonder what type of research we have. Let's see, carry out research, some kind. This have all kind of benefits, affection, making new items. Okay. Neat, so, so far. Let's see, in order to give topics. Okay, so they gotta, we can upgrade the buildings to, so they can research, but they have to be smart enough to actually finish the research, which makes sense. Let's see, of course, research take time. Give me research 100% it would complete, but the more complex, the longer it would take. Okay, so what are we talking, like a couple of minutes, give or take? The higher the IQ, the people inside, the shorter time will remain, we come and we really want to hurry things up, you can, okay. Oh, so they got the four symbols, we're just talking about war, intelligence, spirit crafting, and okay. All right, so for each citizen, they would be suited, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically, each, each citizen have their own unique skills, which would make sense. Obviously, not every citizen will be great at everything. We do have some war chief here. They should be better at war than spirit crafting. Let's see. Give them tasks. Okay, so whatever they're best then that's gonna be the highest IQ. Again, makes sense. Let's see. Carrying weapons, research. Uh, each set one sitting will also have their own special skills and vision. Benefits that affect. Alright, so on top of everybody have their own specific skills that they're good in, even in that they have their own special skill inside of that faction. That's awesome. The more experience, the longer they work, eventually leveling up. Okay, so they even level up. All right, so how do we get more citizens is my question because I know there's going to be just on that statement alone. I know there's going to be like a couple of citizens, a couple of um, research that I'm going to need a specific skill and I can only guess that I can only guess that like everybody have their own specific skill like no one's gonna have the same skill as somebody else 
All right, so let's start placing people down. I have a strong feeling that I'm pretty sure a lot of times I'm just going to let the game run so that um, whatever research they're doing can just highly increase. Well, not increase, but you know, um, it takes real life time for stuff to go. So as long as the game is running, then they're doing research. So it might be a time I might have to like run to the store or, or do the dishes, do some cleaning or something. I might, well, this is a good chance. I might just pop this in, turn it on, let them do their research and just grind out stuff like that, especially um, if a research takes a long time to get done. All right, so, so far we just got Sky Pirates. Obviously, most of the Sky Pirates was um, people of war, more or less, so. Yeah, I guess that's the only thing we got. Let's see, our first research is weapon development. And that's already done, that's awesome. And we get more money for doing research. That is cool. All right, so there's also have I see which farm and other stuff. Personal field. Okay, so from the looks at this, there's also materials we can get by opening farms. I'm also getting that like random shops like if there's a there's a stream right right in front of us so i'm pretty sure there'll be like a fishing market as well so from the looks of this it's like these section might not have um researchers nothing to research but you have somebody there then they can like help farm and stuff and then we can collect those items from the stores. That's cool. So I'm wondering, do, are we ever going to see like random people that's not our citizens come in and out of our kingdom? Okay, so ironically enough, this is like my fifth time trying to record this um it's just been so much noise going around my complex lately that it's been very hard for me to record my videos so um i'm pretty sure the next couple of videos will have a very small amount of commentary to it um, yeah until I can get a better way to record these um, just how it is at the moment but um I'm still going to constantly put out more videos as time go on, it's just not going to be that much commentary in it or at all, most likely. But we'll see what happens. All 
Okay, so they told us we can take ancient money that we find throughout the land, take it to Nell, and he'll give us money. He'll swap the currency to my kingdom's currency, which is cool. Um, I think I'm going to do most of these off camera. Like I'm going to, I'm still going to set set it up and whatnot. But like I said earlier, if I'm not sure if I've already stated this or if this was in one of the recordings that I was recording that I have had to re-record over, but um, I'm gonna state it again. There's going to be a lot of times that I might have something to do. And I might just turn on the game and come to my kingdom and have just the kingdom running while I do something. Either if it's like washing dishes, vacuuming, delivering them, doing a little cleaning or whatnot. Um, might be a lot of times so that I'm just going to have my kingdom running so they can finish their research and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. So there might be... There will be a lot of inc incidents where I'm going to start recording and my kingdom is going to be that much more developed than what it was on the last episode. Well, on the last video. So that's 100% a thing that's going to happen. I'm like, if I got to do chores, I might as well do it while my kingdom is running. Because it only runs while the game is on. So it's not like... It's not like while I turn the game off, it's still going to be running. No, it only runs when you're playing the game. So if I'm just sitting here having the game run, it's going to con continue developing. So that's the thing. Um... So yeah, right now I'm trying to I think I'm trying to go and get upgrade the least amount of stuff first and then I will come back to get um do better research on once I get um more citizens and whatnot. But According to the thing, we at least need one person here. It doesn't matter if they're good in it or not. Need at least one person here to actually run the store. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to see who's good at running what. And trying to max out as much research as I can and I like right now they're highly leveled so Ooh. Hmm. yeah I was actually <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to remove him <clears throat> um I feel like I should have kept him around, but there is, um, which one is this? This is the weapons section. You do have the um, armor section that doesn't have anybody good enough to work here. So that's why I took him off. And it doesn't even look like he's able to work here. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's messed up. <laughs> Okay, so the person I literally just took off is not even capable of working at the armory. That's that's wild. Okay, so I do want to level up my Higgity, so um Oh, he's a cook. Okay, so going to pit some people here so we can go ahead and oh dear Jesus most of these like in the high 100s 
All right, this details. This is this is a hundred. My first, my second cookbook. First series into how to cook up. Best. Okay, so. Okay. All right. So now that we got that that going on, we can put some more people in the spellcaster so we can have some research going on over here as well. We still need more citizens. I still have no clue how to get all how to get more citizens done. Alright, so we're gonna let that go. So right now we have three Everybody's at a spot. Hey. We're gonna collect this little bit of cash. Therefore we can try to invest this in a little bit more research. Okay, so from here we can teleport. Oh, that's awesome. So we can walk around the kingdom or we can go back to the throne room. And even while we're in the kingdom, so we really don't need to be sitting at the throne to manage our kingdom. We just got to be in it. That's awesome. Let's see. All right. It's a nice little small kingdom. I dig it. Mm. All right, so let's head off. couple of weak months right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this little bit of experience points. Let's see. Okay, there's a flag over there for skirmish. I'm debating if I want to go look at it or not. You know what? Let's go look at it and see what lever it is. I'm thinking about it, but I'm not for sure. I did say I was going to do most of my skirmishes offline. Well, not offline, but like off camera. Oh, neat. So we found another rare, en rare enemy. Let's see if we can kill it before it escapes. Okay, so even though it runs away, it still has its own um, shining attack. Dang it. Those things is very difficult to kill they just run then once you get close to them they got that um AOE attack makes it difficult to get any good combos on it so you're mainly gonna have to use your long distance attack all right so we're fighting another one of these okay so prior this thing was a mini boss. And now it's just a regular enemy. Which is fine. I don't have a problem with it. But I'm gonna say it now. He this one is picking up more of a doing more damage than the boss did, which is kinda sad. Like <laughs> Yeah, he's giving me more trouble than the boss was, which is sad, but I guess it happens. So yes, um, while I'm in the open world, I'm still going to be skipping out on some fights. Um, fights like those that I haven't come in contact with or ones that have rare enemies in it I'm going to record or like that big monster over there in the corner I was about to say something but I do have family that's watched this so I'm not going to say it but um I'm going to show those up until the point that they're easy to kill and get out then I'm just going to start skipping over it but at the moment, they're still kind of a decent handful to fight. Alright, so this one is a level 23. 
Okay. Um. Oh, no, that's all the wrong button. What am I doing? Wrong button. All right, so we're going to play with this so we can do the most. What is this? Okay, so we can use our king's gold. I don't know why I our king's gold to reset the board. That is interesting. So, does that reset the whole entire board or does it just reset whatever we're hovering over? I'm not for sure. All right, so I honestly forgot what type of enemy it is. Oh. Um, dang. I, I, it's not a fairy. Um I think it's a solid enemy. I think I didn't want to do the most amount of damage to it, so let's going to go with the solid. It, okay, it is not a solid enemy. We're going to change that. <clears throat> Again, wrong button. I don't know why I keep pushing that. All right, so it is not a solid enemy, so we're going to take that to zero. It's a wildness enemy, so we're going to boost that up, and now we're about to go fight it. Therefore, we're doing the most amount of damage to it and receiving the least amount of damage from it. Even though we are, are we are all stronger than this enemy. We're at a higher level. Like, we're almost level 30. It's 23. Normally, it would be blue, but seeing that it's not, it's, I feel like it's still going to be doing like high level damage to it. So, I would suggest that when you go up against these you um be a fair amount of levels above it because yeah this one is a pretty tough one all right now i'm about to start spamming these and he literally just blocked all of that that is that is crazy and this is why I keep keep them all at a hundred when I'm going to boss, so I can just do the most amount of damage. But yeah, um, oh snap! And you get an item just for killing it. That's awesome. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, it is. Where am I going? Oh crap, I have no clue. Where am I? <laughs> I'm completely lost. Hold on. Um. Dang. Alright, so I'm supposed to be going in and out. Alright, I'm just going to teleport here. I don't have time. I really got lost just trying to figure out where I'm going on the map. That is not a good sign. All right. <clears throat> so, all right. So there is another fight up this hill. So we're gonna come do this. I wonder if um they're gonna have her join my kingdom. Like, granted, she is why we know about the Higgities. So, if she does, I feel like her Higgity stat would be like the highest out of everybody's. And that's going to help my Higgities um, research team. Okay. Yes. I have a new country. I want you to move here with me. Well, there. For me. <laughs> I'm like, you got the small cottage. Cottage. I can give you like a bigger house. Awesome. Of course I... Why would I come all the way down here to ask you to come join my kingdom if I didn't want you? There's always a problem. Your rubber dub. What? Yeah. 
okay. Okay, so you a very special rubber dove. Let's I'll go find the perpetrator so you can come help my research team. Excuse me. Okay, what do you mean? They refuse to be born. How is that even a Gosh. thing? Like, do you do whatever you do to make them or to birth them? And then they be like, uh, no, not gonna happen. Like, how do they have control over that? Like, I understand the living elements come to life, more or less. So, does the elements in that um, section just refuse to turn into a higgity because it's not a clean section? Like, how clean does it have to be? But I'm like, it's not a problem. You, you're going to come work for us and we're going to do this small little job for you. That's fine. Ta -ta for now. Well, get ready to pack your stuff because we're about to go handle some business. Ooh. Okay, so she's our first quest. Like I said, level 90. That's what I'm talking about. Make it true. Yes. Okay, so. Okay, so based off of what just happened, um, side quest is how you go and you earn citizens. Well, you get citizens by doing side quests. She's our first side quest, and besides from the Sky Pirates and um, Neil which was two main missions, part of the story. Um, she's actually joining through a side quest. So even though this side quest is actually a main quest, that's what I'm saying. So it makes sense that, um, that you get citizens through side quests because we have to come here and do this. This is part of our main quest to go recruit her. And yet they moved it and saying it's a side quest. So it only makes sense that side quest is how you earn citizens. Now I'm trying to find where that monster is at. And it says it's up the hill but not up the hill. And I know it's not through that tunnel because um that's where we first came out from when we fled from my original kingdom but then again i did explore up the hill prior and there was nothing really up there besides the dragon and that one chest that we can't open but then again just like with the birds that let you know you're in debt, they probably didn't appear until after um, after we known about them. So okay, so we can't get up there going this way. That's the thing. Alright, so it only makes sense to get up there going the other way. I just don't know how. Hmm, interesting. Alright, I am really not trying to fight any of these low level creatures. But that dragon. I wonder if I'm strong enough to fight that dragon now. I know I fought the dragon off screen after um, after I first saw it. It did not turn out well. I was doing like 
one percent of damage. Not even one percent of damage. Okay. So there's a dragon on this hill. How do you get up? I don't think that hill. No, yeah. You can't walk up there. How do you get up there? Like, how? I have no clue. I guess. <sighs> All right. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I'm going to try to figure out how to get up there. Right now, I'm about to go attack that dragon and see if I can do any luck. But thank you for watching. I'm sorry it took so long. I'll see y'all.